the way of Will John. If you were so excited about finding freedom and finding freedom, when you finally got it, what did you do? I, basically, you are not, you know, you think that some things will give you freedom, but mm -hmm. the, 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 I was very far from freedom, <laughs> you know. You're because naive. Freedom yeah. is um, a, a something that is within you. Yeah. And I didn't realize how far from that I was. I was maybe more free and wild in having goals and ideas that an average person around me. But... Um, Obviously, you know, I knew that I had some potentials that will not really fit into some small uh, role that mm -hmm. other people would fit into. So my marriage to a successful, influential, rich person mm -hmm. in the beginning was exciting in the ways that it enabled you to create life in terms of traveling yeah. and luxury and right. decorations and uh -huh. again, you know, dressing up your kids yeah. the way you want. But right. it's only a short-term amusement. There is There was no freedom there. It I was see. freedom from financial limitations. Sure. It was great freedom comparing with the girl who hardly ever flew by plane there before then. And then all of a sudden I had a world on in my palm, you know, mm -hmm. vacationing from uh, Aspen to Saint-Tropez, anyway, whatever, wherever, the way I liked it. But in the end, in that mm -hmm. marriage, that was my uh, constraint. I mean, I had, there are different, there were different constraints. Right. I had the freedom to choose the perfect vacation <sighs> and to kids clothes. And, yeah. But what else? Yeah. I was living in a golden cage, still with a very yeah. traditional man, with mm -hmm. his idea that he has to keep me under check I see. because I am a bubble of <laughs> energy, very difficult, uh, hard to control. <laughs> and the problem is that, and it's always like that, you know, people like, and men like to get that energy, mm -hmm. but then they want, they get scared of yeah. it and they want to find <laughs> a way it. of controlling the <laughs> volcano. You can't, yeah. you know, you can just be nice to it and <laughs> yeah. maybe you will not yeah, get yeah. burned. <laughs> but trying to contain you and the more you try to contain me, the more I'm suffering, yeah. you know. So uh, it's very, it was very also, I always thought, I, I really s deeply suffered as a human being in mm. my marriage. And mm. sometimes I thought, mm. you know, but my 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 husband is not beating me my sure. husband is not bad in any t kind of way that people can associate with my pain right and yet i feel i'm restricted you know i i'm yeah. restricted yeah and i'm not uh, blossoming and growing even though i'm i'm always uh, being a mom and uh, and improving mm -hmm. and studying nutrition and doing yoga and mm -hmm. pursuing this or that but still, you know, I'm not really living from other people's expectations. Yeah. And if you realize, I mean, um, when I appeared in the public, it was first in 2015 mm. as, a, as, a, as a free person who mm. was really ready to burn the perceptions of the, of the public. Yeah. To do the contrary, when they come out and do a collection with a simple material that is used for a tablecloth, no. at the time when they think, oh, she's now uh, this rich Croatian woman should come with silks and taffeta <sighs> and things like that. Yeah. I like to challenge people's perception of me because right. they really don't know me, mm -hmm. and the only and and they can't perceive me and the way superficial way of their perception of me is hurting me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so i would rather serve you the deteriorating way of perceiving me mm -hmm. but that's my way of controlling you right then letting <laughs> you get away with it, some getting an idea that is so remote from my true value and mm -hmm. from my true being and because that's something that a lot of people deal with, but most people do not have the balls or guts to put themselves out there in that sort of situation, exactly. obviously. Yes. So many people are very happy to be, and I've seen you speak just a little bit on some uh, shows, you know, about the haters, let's, you know, yes. say. And it's so easy to be a hater, which yeah. I can't understand because obviously me too with the with the the size that we now have and all in our business and across YouTube and stuff, you'll always catch people saying, oh, Will, how come you're not better than Cristiano Ronaldo or how come this and that and the other? And, you know, and in, in my head, obviously, it does, it does nothing to me because I don't define myself from the sport. 
So I really don't care what you say, yeah. if I'm the worst or, or whatever. But at the other time, I always wonder for some of these people, it's so easy to be the person who's anonymous, shouting out at the people. And I know that most of these haters, let's say, want to, because we all do in a certain sense, like you felt restricted. The worst thing for a human is to feel caged in. If, if you put a, a human and they know they're in a prison, and they know they're in a cage, they're going to try and get out. And, you know, and I think it's also another thing for society where a lot of people don't understand necessarily that they're in a prison locked into their phones or Absolutely. locked into their job. Mm -hmm. They don't understand that they're in a prison, so they can't get out. The moment you sit in front of the TV, you are in a prison. <laughs> You're in. Or a ra a ra like That's why it's very important to choose your platform, to choose what you watch when. Right. And not to, not to be available. Yeah. The key is not to be available to anyone. Yeah. It's this, this is the trick. When you become available, even this feeling when a, we have as a woman this tendency, when we get relaxed in a relationship, you make yourself available. Over available. For trip, over Almost. available. Yes. Yeah. And it's a killer, even yeah. in a relationship. Yeah. But we have this tendency that by being available, we will gain something. That otherwise we would not. That's something, and, and, and as, a, as a man, we don't necessarily, and it's weird, because society plays its role, and obviously nature also plays some, some role, and that's uh, our whole world is, is crashing in America with the, what that means and all the, the words and stuff like that. But there is, it, it's so interesting because, and I know you have an, uh, you have an understanding of Eastern uh, philosophy and, and stuff like this, but that whole the yin nature and the yang nature and, and guys' ability to just like zone in and focus on this. They don't care about this, that, and the other. They can live in filth as long as they're, they're you know, trying to charge ahead and get to the top of the lawyer thing. And there's this interesting stat uh, that m most women who, are, who enter the field of law, these mm -hmm. lawyers, in, around the age of 35 and let's say uh, around 40, they have a better understanding of realizing because in America and in most places, you want to get to the top of the ladder, right? Men understand they want to get to the top of the ladder. That means more money. That means better selection of females, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but women have a better reflective ability, generally speaking. Mm -hmm. And they stop. They realize at 30, 35, not just because of kids. One of these clinical psychologists talks about mm -hmm. this. He says it's also because they realize this is not going to bring them happiness exactly. in the long term. And guys are too stupid exactly. and they just keep plowing ahead and they do it. And then we all know the cliche of the guy at 40 who stops or 50 and is just like, what did I do with my life? And they got it. Yeah. They throw out. Yes. Yeah. And that's what Jordan Peterson says when they say, oh, but we don't have enough women in high positions. <laughs> and then say, why, why would they want yeah. to be in these <laughs> yeah. positions? Give me a good reason. Don't you think exactly. they are smarter than that? <laughs>